John, many congratulations. Off and running at the William Hill World Darts Championship. 3 0, fairly straightforward victory. It maybe it looks like it, but I, I didn't feel it was. Uh, I know James, he's came through a hard game in his first round against McCurry. It was the pressure was on him and I feel as though he was coming out of this game, the pressure was off and I thought the pressure was on me to beat him. But it, I did play well uh, at times and yeah. games didn't play the way I knew you can play. But it's just this first round of Paul, it's always the hardest one to get through that. It's, Fantastic, so I'm just happy with the, with the win. Maybe the performance could be a wee bit better, but the win, I'll take that. Is it worth having to wait to watch and watch all the seeds tumble and there's added pressure thinking, oh no, not me? Well, I don't, I don't think so. I've, I've, I've not watched much of it, if I'm being honest. I didn't watch James's first game, so I didn't know how, how he played it. I know just obviously through social media. But no, I like to come into it later, because I think if you play early on, you wouldn't have been, kind of, if you could beat the early doors, you wouldn't have been, kind of, he feels though you're doing anticipated in the competition so playing quite later on suits me and hopefully I can just kick on for the early. Bit of a frustrating end to the year for yourself, how's preparation been for the World Championship? It's been good, I've had some good competitive uh, exhibitions, I've played well in them. Uh, I know my team, my, this year has never been a great year on the TV but the floor has been quite good uh, so hopefully I can, I can put that right this weekend. As I said, it's a World Championships. It's open for anybody, we can all go on a good run, so that's the hardest one I believe over and done with, so let's hopefully I can kick on for here and whether it's William or Gerwin, or I don't know. It's how did that compare to the Premier League? Obviously the World Championships is the pinnacle, but the Premier League is something special as well. How did the pair how did the two compare? Well the Premier League the Premier League was just phenomenal. It really was. Uh, I went up there just my, my home crowd, 4,000 Aberdonians screaming, it was absolutely fantastic. Whether I go through that again, I'll never know, I, I don't know. It was, the experience was fantastic. Uh, that, to, to compare that with this, I can't. Uh, Aberde I'll never compare Aberdeen with anything else again. There was a different pressure, there was a pressure on just playing well. To me, this is a pressure of winning because of the ranking, so uh, a completely different, but the atmosphere in Aberdeen is fantastic. This is the atmosphere, Zali Poi is fantastic, so I can't really compare the two of them the same like now. As you said, next up, either Gary Price or Willie O'Connor. Will you have to play better than what you did against Michael in the Premier League to beat Go, and if it was to be him, the form he's in right now? Well, uh, to play better, I definitely have to play better than I did today. Not taking anything away for James, I, didn't, I, I feel as though I've got a lot more to offer. Do I play better than I did against Michael on the Premier League? I thought I played quite well. Uh, I had a 97 average. Is that, is that good enough to win? I do believe it is good enough to beat Gerwin or William. Uh, so, but probably when it comes to World Championship, you need to average close to a ton to beat the top boys. So I probably will have to. Yeah. John, thanks very much. Thanks, Phil. No problem. And John, you touched on the. Premier League. If you'd, if you'd asked any darts fan before Tuesday what the darting highlight of the year, many would have said that. Are you a bit gutted Fallon Sherrick's not your top spot? <laughs> <laughs> Guinness, what Fallon did the other night was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, a lovely last session, really is. Once you did it, I feel for Ted. Guinness, it was always going to happen, the first person, but it wasn't as though Ted played bad, it's Ted played well. No, I take everything for Fallon. But yes, she has probably taught me from a Premier League experience, but I, I wish her all the best, good on her, and I wish her all the best. Is, is it true you didn't really want to play McCurry Suzuki because of that pressure that Ted Evans obviously had? If I'm being honest, probably that's a, I would have probably, if somebody said to me James or McCurry, I would have probably picked James. I think I probably would have played better against James. Took nothing away from McCurry, she played well, but obviously you, you, you've no, you're not just playing McCurry, but you're playing against quite a hostile crowd. They're, going, they're obviously wanting to see the lashes do well and fair play to them, so I'm kind of I'm kind of glad I was playing James, if I'm being honest. Nothing, no disrespect to McCurry, but I think in a personal sense it helped my game. Like. Um, now we have seen a woman beat a man at the World Championship, do you think it takes for future matches, the men aren't going to feel that like same pressure anymore, now it's out of the way? Well, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I can't really answer that. I, 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 played, I played Stacey, God bless Stacey, in 2010 in Grand Slam, and it's a hard thing to do. Uh, but now Fallon's done it. But maybe it is, I don't know. There's some good lasses out there. They're good, good, very good players. Whether they go to key school and earn their tour card and, and perf perform in the, 
the, the, the pro tours week out and week out, it's, it's up to them. But no, Fallon's fairly put women's darts on the map and all the best, Lar. I really do. All the best, Lar. If it is going next, is he someone you enjoy playing with? Is sort of high energy on stage? Uh, well, we know what Gurman's like. Gurman's got this, but he's, he's you know, I, I've, I've got a lot of time for Gurman. He's that's what he needs to. Do. That's what he does on the stage. Uh, he's a great player. He's, he's darts are doing the talking now, rather than him. And uh, whether it's William is no, it's, it's not an easy game for him. He's still got that to go through. Whether it's Gavin, whether it's William, it'll be a great game. And uh, but he's roaring, doesn't bother me. That's what he does. It's the nature of his game. I mean, he's quite a, almost aggressive, but he has come at that a little bit this year. If the crowd are against him, we'll yep. find out tonight. Will that play your advantage? Uh, well, I don't think so because I think if the crowd gets against him, I think he plays better. Uh, it wouldn't have made me feel. I, I would hate the crowd against me, but. I think Gerwin does play on it and, and he, he uses the crowd. But I think it, recently I've, I've let them believe that he's, he's, he's darts are doing the talking and the, the crowd are actually getting on his side. And that's down, to, that's down to him playing well. So fair play to Gerwin for that. Yes, yeah, I, I believe he's won them over. I really do. He's a lovely lad. He doesn't deserve. I don't, I don't, any darts club deserves any booing. To me, that's, that's wrong. We're up there. It's hard enough to do a job without having the crowd but, uh, on your back, so no, it's, it's not right, but, uh, but you know, I think he's beginning to gradually win them over, and that's down to him playing well. And if it is William O'Connor, obviously he would have been a shock to have beaten Price, so what will it, if it is William O'Connor, just sort of explain to him that challenge. Uh, I'm going to treat it exactly the same, whether it's German, whether it's William, obviously everybody's saying, oh, you're playing William, you've got a chance. I've got a chance with those German, so uh, my game, I feel my game is good enough to beat any of two of them. So I'll probably watch the game that I'm going to go and chill out now, have a bite to eat and have a drink and uh, uh, watch the game. And, but it doesn't matter, I'm, I'm in the next round. That, this, this game of the day was the hardest game for me. You'll ask any, the first round, is, well, the first game is always the hardest, and to get through that, uh, everything else is a, is a bonus. Christmas plan, what do you do now? Go home, uh, just enjoy it, probably have a bit of practice, and I'll come back down Boxing Day, because I'll play the 27th. So you'll fly uh, down, or presumably? you fly down? Yeah, I'll fly down, yeah, fly down, and just chill out for the next couple of days, enjoy Christmas, hit that practice board, because I, I really have done a lot of hours in the practice, but probably more, more so this year. I don't, I don't ask me why, but I just feel as though I've, I've put more effort into it this year. And uh, I, well, tonight is proved that I've. It's, it's, it's and what's your Christmas Day? I mean, what, what are you doing? Presents, practice? Well, oh, well, I'm, I'm not really sure yet. We'll, we'll, we'll do the presents. We'll, we'll, we'll obviously do the lunch, right? But <laughs> uh, but no, no, there'll definitely be hours of practice and worked in with it anyway. Could you have a run here? Could you, sort of, could you often win the odd couple of games? Perhaps don't always go deep. Uh, I know everybody says it's always a couple of games. I need to try and put that right. I've, I've, I done well two years ago, so uh, I'd like to try and... I, I believe I'm good enough to go deep in this tournament, so I just need a bit of belief in that, and I do believe I'm, I'm practicing well. Playing well, so hopefully I can maybe have a deep run this this, week, this year.